next. Don't let go. Hold on to it. Don't let go. Oh, oh man. Wow. Hey, up. Whoa. Whoa. How's it going guys? So I'm just enjoying a beautiful Saturday with my family. It's it's so much fun just to be a kid again for just a moment. So anyways guys, um, today in the garage I have a lot of work to do. I'm kind of uh, lagging behind on some tasks. I managed to soak up those brake calipers in that uh, rust dissolving solution. They've been kind of just sitting for a day or two outside of that solution drying off and I also gave them kind of a brush down with the wire brush. The front brakes are in fairly good condition, but I'm actually going to go ahead and just uh, give it a little bit of a brush with the wire wheel and then I'm going to throw some paint on there, some high heat paint for the calipers. So stay tuned guys and uh, I'll see you back in the garage. So here are the brake calipers guys that I was mentioning earlier. Uh, these have been uh, nicely cleaned and have been sitting for the past few days. But as you can see, we have, um, we're finally able to actually see part numbers and symbols again on the brake calipers, which is nice to see. There was a lot of rust on here and it's finally gone, so I'm moving now on to the front brakes. These ones just have a surface rust on them, nothing compared to uh, what I was dealing with with those guys. They're not going to have to go in any solution. And then I'll just uh, hand brush everything down with the wire wheel, get them cleaned up and prepped for paint. These are just going to be a flat black uh, color and then uh, not a gloss but everything else in that wheel well area is mostly gloss so try and change things up a little bit so see how it goes. So the rear brakes, they're looking fantastic. I threw them in that rust dissolving solution and I was very happy with the outcome of how these things turned out. Uh, the fronts, I ended up actually disassembling them just to make sure I could actually get uh, the wire wheel and the pockets that I couldn't reach if they were assembled. So, And plus I think it's going to be a little bit easier to make sure I can paint these a lot nicer when they're kind of disassembled and I don't have to worry about taping off any rubber pieces that I can go ahead and throw paint on there comfortably knowing that it's going to cover it evenly and much nicer as well. So I'm going to throw these up on the engine hoist and uh, start throwing on some of that black high heat paint that I have. So four coats later, these things have turned out amazing. I've let them actually bake in the sun for a bit, for maybe about a couple hours. Uh, now I'm actually just gonna let them sit a little bit longer before I go ahead and put these in the oven. I'm actually gonna put them in the oven for a good hour at 200 degrees Fahrenheit, just following the can instructions because this will help make the paint cure and strengthen. Uh, next thing that I'm actually gonna do in the meantime while that's uh, kind of drying a little bit longer is I'm gonna move on to these wheel hubs. These are looking pretty bad as well with the rust, so. It's pretty uh, typical for me to be dealing with some type of rust issue like this, so uh, let's get this tackled off and fixed and get this also prepped for paint. Just after about five minutes, these things almost look like they're new again. Uh, luckily, the rust is pretty easy to take off. Uh, especially because it's almost a lot of flat surfaces and easy to get to with the wire wheel. So I'm going to quickly do this one, get these two degreased, and get them ready for paint.
So I just completed throwing on two coats of POR15 on these wheel hubs, and for myself that's fine if they're glossy black, they're going to be hidden behind the wheel and plenty protected from future rust and corrosion. So I'm going to let these dry overnight, and with those brake calipers now I'm going to go throw them in the oven and let them sit in the oven for a good hour at 200 degrees Fahrenheit and pull them out and see how they look right after. So the brake calipers, they're in the oven, they're going to be in there at uh, 200 degrees for one hour. And the wheel hubs, I painted those in the POR15, sealed those up. They'll be plenty protected for the future from rust and corrosion. The next thing I want to talk about is that I'm going to start trying to post two videos per week. I've been just posting one video generally every Sunday. But I think there's going to be enough content on the Honda that I can start posting two videos. Uh, there's going to be a lot of body work, there's going to be one more thing I have to do underneath the car which is actually just sealing up underneath here in the middle area so there's a couple sections with some rust that I have to seal up and then I'm actually going to throw on a rubberized undercoating on the entire bottom of the car and that'll be complete. After that I'm going to actually put the wheels back on, torque things down, all the suspension and all the front end stuff that I did and then we're going to start working on body. And that's why I think I have enough video work that I can start doing two videos per week. So I'm gonna start trying to do like a, a Wednesday, Sunday post. So stay tuned guys. I know there's probably some people out there that may want more content that are probably either forgetting about the channel or you know, just eager to see more. And I wanna be able to help people out with some of the things that I'm doing, hopefully teaching someone else some different techniques. I know there, there's a lot of stuff on YouTube of people you know, rebuilding cars, but I'm just doing things my way maybe some ways that uh, people may take an interest to. So I wanna let you guys uh, experience that a little bit more frequently instead of just once per week. Whew. So anyways, thanks for watching today's episode. Please hit that subscribe button, like the episode, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one.